This is the historic courthouse here in Raymond. It's just right off of town square. Raymond is one of two county seats in Hines County, and Hines County is one of just 10 counties in the entire 82 counties of Mississippi to have two county seats. So there's something else significant about this courthouse. Now, in our next story, we travel up to North Mississippi to take a look at another significant courthouse in the tiny town of Jacinto. Jacinto community was established in the early 1830s. It was the county seat of Old Tishomingo County, which was one of 10 counties that was established in the state of Mississippi before the county was divided out. At its prime time, it, uh, Jay Center had 6,600 plus residents. In 1854, the, the citizens decided that Jay Center was growing to the point it needed to have a better and nicer courthouse. And it only cost about $6,700 at that time in 1854. There were 10 courthouses built with the federal styles, and this courthouse is the only one of the 10 that are still in existence. The thing that really spelled the doom to the Jay Center community was the fact that the legislature decided to divide the county up into three counties, the present Alcorn, Prentice, and Tishomingo counties. Of course, the courthouse was on the very south end of Alcorn County and just a few hundred yards from the Prince County line and maybe a mile or so from the Tishomingo County line. After this was no longer the center of the county, uh, Alcorn County Courthouse was built in Corinth, Prince County Courthouse was built in Boonville, then the Tishomingo County Courthouse was built in Iuka. Well, a lot of businesses left, all the doctors and lawyers, because they followed where the county seats were. It wasn't shortly after that that the population of 6,600 dwelled down to less than 400. And uh, the Jason Center Courthouse has just been sitting here ever since. The courthouse was used after it was closed, was used for a school. A uh, Methodist church was here for several years. In 1964, the church decided they would close the church and sell the building. They put it up for sale to a salvage company for $600. Some local people found out about it and then they just raised the money and gave them $2,000. Then in 1965, they established the Jacinto Foundation. When you walk in the front door, you'll notice this courtroom is probably different than most courtrooms. Of course, the pews for the visitors are here, and they pretty much intact what they were then. But when you walk into the area we're sitting now, it's an oval, semi-oval. The lawyers would sit on one end, if he had a lawyer, and defend it, and the prosecution and it would sit on the other one. And where I'm sitting today looking to the judge, this was where the witnesses would testify. To my right and to my left, there was two benches, and that was where the 12 jurors sat, six on each side. And um, if you'll notice, in the courtroom, there's two fireplaces and a big window in behind the judge. And it's been noted that probably the judge had been known in the wintertime when it was cool and the heat was just real nice in the room. And uh, in the summertime, when the breeze was coming through the window, he would meditate a lot. He'd nap a little bit, maybe. <laughs> this was the center of the government for Northeast Mississippi. If you stand at the back door and just try to think about what all went in this room, what decisions were made that affected the people of this area, it's a little bit hard to imagine. This courthouse belongs to the whole state of Mississippi. We want everybody to come to see and learn the history. You know, history is something that we can't change. History is something that we learn from, and history is something we need to preserve for future generations. Uh, I've always thought if we forget where we come from, we don't know where we're going. I ask you to come and visit with us. When you walk up the front door, if you feel comfortable, you pull your shoes off 
and uh, you got to go through the courthouse. If you're tired, well, you can take a nap, but you'll have to leave when we leave. We're not going to feed you overnight. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. If you like what you see, subscribe to Mississippi Public Broadcasting. Till next time, I'll be seeing you on Mississippi Roads.